Back here at home, much quieter. Unfortunately, we can't shake the clouds. This is a live look in Pewaukee. The cloud cover is still there, but it's still 70 degrees and a southeast winds at around 10 to 12 miles per hour. There's the cloud cover. It moved in overnight and typically this time of year it's hard to burn off clouds because that sun angle is getting lower in the sky. If this was July, these would have burned off very quickly this morning, but it's having a difficult time. There is some clearing, however, back off to the east, so hopefully we'll see a little bit of sunshine peeking through this afternoon. It wasn't supposed to be completely clear today, but I was expecting to at least see some sunshine so far today. Rain off to the west. That does not get here until about this time tomorrow. It's going to take its sweet time getting here, and then when it pushes through, it'll be very brief. Tomorrow is not a washout by any means. 63 in South Milwaukee with that southeast breeze, also in Shorewood, 70 in Tosa, as well as West Dallas. And you go out to Waukesha County, where temperatures right now pretty much 70 degrees, except for Brookfield at 71 in this afternoon. You, all of them, they're all just saying 70. Uh, we'll get up to around 72, maybe 71 degrees with those clouds and a little bit of sunshine. You're noticing a little bit more dampness into the, the air today. You'll notice even more tomorrow, and it will be humid on Thursday, feeding those thunder showers late in the day. And then the cold front comes through, dries things out for Friday, and then very dry, cool, crisp air. There's something you haven't heard in a while for the weekend. So today, no rain. We're going to try to get some of these clouds out of here. Southeast winds keeping the lakefront a little cooler. Midday tomorrow, not much rain, but there is a chance that some of those showers will still hold together and push on through. Then clearing in the afternoon. Then it's Thursday morning. We'll see our first round of heavy rain and then more Thursday afternoon and into the evening. Tomorrow's rain less than a tenth of an inch, just enough to get the pavement wet, and then we'll pick up and we go back to that. Then as we get further into this storm system, say Thursday, Thursday night into Friday morning, we could pick up almost an inch of rain across the area. This has nothing to do uh, with Hurricane Matthew. This is just the next storm system rolling on through. More rain for us. Highs tomorrow into the low to mid 70s. Here's your seven day forecast. 70 today, hoping for some sunshine. 74 tomorrow with a little bit of rain midday and then clearing later in the day. Humid and thunder showers likely on Thursday. More showers on Friday and 65. And look at the weekend. May have to dust off the sweatshirts. It's been a while. Mm, sweater weather, buddy. There